Hello everyone, it's Eric Lima, as you can obviously see, you're watching episode 416 of EML77 TV, what's going on? Um, as you can tell, my voice is getting a little bit better, I fought a cold all week, um, last week. It was, it was a very tough battle, but it was, I conquered it. Um, having to clean trash up on uh, Monday, uh, last week in the rain, and then last week in the snowstorm, shoveling some snow. And uh, this week, <clears throat> this week has been um, going to be two days of, of of rain in a row before we get snow on Wednesday. But here's the thing: according to WPRI weather, we're just going to get a coating to an inch here, <clears throat> unless that little storm system shifted. And we'll probably get one to three. But either way, we're not going to get much this time around. I'm hoping. And um, we were supposed to get one to three last week, but we ended up getting nailed with eight inches of snow. So, uh, you gotta take your pick there. Um, <clears throat> speaking of the holiday season, we're about, uh, 16 days away till Christmas. And 22 days away from not only the end of this year, but also the end of this decade. So, uh, so, so we got a lot of things to do. Time is running out. And, uh, hopefully you get st stuff done. And we'll go out and go on our lives and, um, get ready for the new year. But before we do that, we have some sad news to report. Um, very, very sad news. And I figured out, you know, everybody's been talking about it. Um, we're going to start with some celebrities. Um, a couple of celebrities that passed on. Uh, if for us old school 70s, 80s TV fans growing up, there was a show, um, there was a show called Benson. Benson was played by Robert Guillaume, who, Benson was the, uh, was the like the spinoff from the uh, '70s uh, com, uh, sitcom uh, soap. So Benson was an advisor to the uh, governor, played by James Noble, and they had, and he surrounded himself with some some of these trustworthy people. Uh, you got the um, kitchen maid Klaus, played by Inka Svensson, um, and there is a. Another gentleman by the name of Clinton, Clayton Endicott the third. He was played by Rene Aubergenois. I hopefully I got the name right. Uh, Rene Aubergenois has passed on, has uh, died at the age of 76. So, my good condolences and prayers to the friends and family of Rene Aubergenois. And, um, and to Mr. Aubergenois, thank you for your contributions to. Um, Television entertainment. Um, another uh, gentleman who uh, co whose contributions to television and entertainment, and also education, has uh, passed on. Uh, the uh, voice of the voice of both Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch was the puppeteer for both the, those Muppet characters. Carol Spitting has passed away as well as the um, age of uh, eighty-five or eighty-six, and his legacy, his contributions that made Sesame Street. A legendary show to watch for kids has passed on as well, and so condolences also go out to his and prayers go out to his also his family and friends and colleagues, and to Mr. Spinney, thank you for your contributions in um, television entertainment and education. Thank you, and your legacy will live on, sir. Um. <clears throat> There is um, also uh, a YouTube user who, now I don't know this gentleman personally, but he is contribu his contributions for game show to game show fandom has been well known in the game show fandom community. Um, he created the Fun and Games channel here on YouTube, and I got to watch some of the game shows from that channel. Um, Mr. David Downs has passed on. At a very very early age, uh, condolences go out to his uh, and prayers go out to his family, um, his friends, and his girlfriend. And you I know, mean, like I said, I don't know him personally, but I want to thank him for his contributions for the game show fandom. Um, he has um, did some tra uh, training with a lot of folks who have known him personally, and a lot of game show fans. Um, never got a chance to. Uh, be friends with him personally or anything like that from from that extent, but I know his contributions um, to the game show fandom is very, very well known. So I figured that those who have known him 
condolences and prayers go out to you guys as well. And uh, and to Mr. Downs, thank you for your contributions to the uh, game show fandom community. And finally, um, a local sports hero by the name of Peter Freights, who um, started the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge back in 2014, five years ago, has passed away after his courageous battle with ALS. Is he has been well known throughout the New England community, uh, New England sports community, and when he got struck with ALS, he decided to use this as an opportunity to raise awareness of it. Started the Ice Bucket Challenge. That has been war- that has been known nationwide. Everybody has done it. From sports athletes to superstars from the WWE, they've all done the Ice Bucket Challenge. And it was all to raise awareness for ALS. All I can say is um, condolences and prayers go out to the Freights family, the friends of the Freights family as well. And to say thank you, Peter Freights, for for you um, contributing to help others raise awareness for ALS. And uh, and to all those and just wow, it's been yeah you know, like I said it is a long long uh, weekend, a lot of sad news happening. So we spend um, bigger. So like I said to all those who passed on, uh, condolences to all the families and friends of these individuals who have, whose contributions to sports and entertainment and and you know, TV entertainment and whatnot as, are well known and hopefully their legacies will live on forever. Another sad part is that uh, I know it's, my, it's a minute detail compared to what's been going on. The Patriots did lose to the Kansas City Chiefs last night 23-16. A lot of people were upset about the officiating that Basically, cost the Patriots and all. And the 21 home game winning streak has snapped at that point. Um, I'll be honest with you, it's been, you know, like I said, you know, I was really upset. I was really just very disappointed. But, you know, it's not like the Patriots lose two games in a row. It's rare you see that. But, um,. But I am encouraged by the fact that, you know, last season, the Patriots went 11-5, and five, still made the playoffs, still won the Super Bowl. And a lot of people are writing off the Patriots already. I'm, I'm very believed that they're playing just playing possum, I think. It'll be only a matter of time, just, you know, they turn on the Jets and the after, kick in the afterburners in the playoffs. That's where they at. Most of the biggest concern is the rookies, um, like, uh, Jacoby Myers and N. Kelly Harry. They're trying to get ju- adjusted to this. A lot of pressure's on them. Um, I think it's up to like, guys like Edelman, Brady, and uh, White and Watson to uh, help them out. <coughs> so, so, but um, I know the offensive line's not, you know, it's very lacking. You lose key players to that offensive line. It's been very, very tough. So I'm kind of hoping that in the next game. But, you know, like Bill Belichick is on to Cincinnati, and I think that's where we're playing next, I believe. I'm going to check the schedule right now. And, uh, yep, on to Cincinnati, basically. On to, we have, you know, in fact, we have three games left. Um, um, we, so, uh, you have three, basically three games left to decide. Um, we got the Bengals um, this coming Sunday. The Patriots at 4:30. The Bills at 4:30. Excuse me. And let's see, it's a Saturday, isn't it? So it'll be yeah, it's a Saturday game. So we have a game against the. So it'll be four days before Christmas, and then we got one game left after that, after Christmas. And so uh, it's uh, 
like I said, it's kind of a rough weekend, but it was kind of a rough weekend for, you know, with celebrity deaths and, you know, friend deaths and everything else, but um, I think we're going to be okay. And uh, I know to those families out there, be strong, stay strong. I know it's going to be difficult without loved ones this year, especially around this time of se- time of year, time of season, and, uh, you know, I don't know, you know, I don't know. And I'll tell you, like I said, you know, I don't know any of these people per, from a personal standpoint, but I know their contributions to, <clears throat> and uh, in the case of David Downs, his contribution to the game show fandom community, um, Pete Freights, the sports community, as well as the community of ALS and the awareness of it, um, the two gentlemen, um, the two gentlemen, uh, Mr. Ab- Abergenois and Mr. Spinney, their contributions to entertainment and education. So, it's great to be best for them to remember their contributions. And all I can say is, to those four gentlemen, thank you so much. And hopefully your legacies will live on. That's all I can get. And, you know, I'm still fighting a little bit of a cold, but, you know, like I said, it ain't going to be that much. It's more of a challenge than anything else, so see what happens. It's been a rough, rough, like I said, a rough weekend, and I'm trying to uh, get the odds and ends back. It's Christmas, you know, I'm trying to be, you know, a little happy. It's Christmas and all, coming and all, but uh, it has not been, like I said, it's not been the same, man. And don't know what to tell you, but, you know, whatever. I'll try to get back on my thing. I was supposed to do a Get These Thumbs episode, but somehow things fell through and all that. I will get I will get you an episode. Get these thumbs and hopefully, um, and like I said, this coming Saturday I'm working six to nine. Hopefully I'll get get an episode of that. We got some snow coming in Wednesday, but we're getting just coating to an inch, and we got to be very very careful of the roads out there. And hopefully they get treated and whatnot. So <clears throat> that's all the time we have on the show. God's blessings, life, love, and light to all of you. Catch the flip side. Pay attention. You might learn something. Um, we cannot change our past, but we can change our current situations to work for a better future. If life deals us, deals you a bad hand, change your cards. And <clears throat> remember, remember this, everybody: life is can be the ultimate teacher, because we're, we're also we're always in the constant state of learning. Episode four sixteen. Rough weekend. Well, we go on, we move on, we conquer on. For those for those who have passed on, let's do it for them. All right, let's live our lives. They would want us as they would want us to do so. All right, I'll see you guys later. Guys, have a wonderful day and um, peace.